In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to move a JIRA ticket into a sprint. This is an essential skill for anyone working within a Scrum framework on any software development project. Managing tickets efficiently can significantly impact your team's productivity and project timelines. So let's dive right in and make you a sprint management pro. First things first, you need to navigate to your work area in JIRA. This is your command center where you can see everything you're assigned to or working on. It's essentially the dashboard from which all your project management tasks begin. To get there, simply open your preferred web browser, go to JIRA, and then look for the Your Work section. This is usually located at the top of your JIRA homepage. Once you're in the Your Work area, your next step is to click on Projects. This is where all the projects you're a part of are listed. Clicking here will take you to a list of your current projects. And from this point, you're just a few steps away from managing your tickets within sprints. After clicking on projects, you need to select the specific project you're working on. This could be anything from a new software development initiative to an ongoing maintenance project. Whatever the case, find your project in the list and click on it. This action will take you deeper into the specifics of your selected project, closer to where you can manage your sprints. Now that you're within your project, it's time to focus on the sprints. Look for the backlog option. This should be easily found within the projects menu. The backlog is where all of the tasks or tickets that have not yet been assigned to a sprint live. It's like a waiting room for your tasks before they get called into action. Clicking on backlog will bring up the list of unassigned tasks for this particular project. Here you'll see everything that hasn't yet been allocated to a sprint. This is where the magic happens. You'll need to find the specific ticket you want to move into a sprint. Once you've located it, the process is simple, drag and drop. That's right, moving a ticket into a sprint is as easy as clicking on the ticket, holding that click, dragging it to the designated sprint, and then releasing. Sprints are typically named and organized in a way that makes it clear which one is currently active or up next. So find the appropriate sprint for your ticket and move it there. This action of dragging and dropping your ticket into a sprint is a significant step in managing your project's workflow. It signifies that this task is now officially in progress, or soon will be, depending on the sprint's current status. It's a visual and functional way of keeping track of what needs to be done, by whom, and by when. And that's it. You've successfully moved a JIRA ticket into a sprint. This straightforward process is foundational for agile project management, helping teams stay organized and focused. With the ticket now in the sprint, you and your team can start working towards completing it within the sprint's time frame. Remember, the whole idea behind Agile and using tools like Jira is to make project management more flexible, transparent, and efficient. Moving tickets into sprints as needed helps maintain that agility, ensuring that everyone on the team knows what they should be working on and what the priorities are. A few extra tips before we wrap up, Always make sure you're moving the ticket to the correct sprint. Double check the sprint names and dates if necessary. Also, communicate with your team. If a ticket is being moved into the current sprint sent, let the relevant team members know so they can adjust their workloads accordingly. So there you have it, a simple guide to moving JIRA tickets into a sprint. With this skill under your belt, you'll be better equipped to manage your projects, prioritize tasks, and keep your team on track. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials on making the most of Jira and other project management tools.